Welcome back to Sip the Taylor Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about Kyle Hamilton. The Baltimore Ravens defense has always been a force to be reckoned with, and this season, their not-so-secret weapon, Kyle Hamilton. Today we're diving into how his versatility is transforming the Ravens defense, so stay tuned. Kyle Hamilton, the Ravens' first-round pick in the 2022 Ravens draft, has quickly proven to be a game changer. Standing at 6'4 and weighing 220 pounds, Hamilton possesses a rare combination of size, speed, and football IQ. But what truly sets him apart is versatility. Hamilton's ability to make plays in multiple positions on the field makes him a Swiss Army knife. Whether he's lined up at safety, covering the slot, or even playing linebacker, Kyle Hamilton can do it all. This vers versatility allowed defense coordinator Mike McDonald to get real freaky with the schemes last year. Let's break it all down. In the secondary, Hamilton's range and instincts make him a ball hawk. He can read the quarterback's eyes, track the ball, and make plays that change the, game, change the momentum of the game in an instance. His coverage skills are top notch, allowing him to match up against tight ends, running backs, and sometimes even wide receivers. But Hamilton isn't just a coverage specialist. His size and physicality makes him a formidable presence in the box. He can step up and play the run, sheds blocks with the best of them, and makes tackles. When it comes to blitzing, he's a nightmare for opposing quarterbacks. His ability to disguise his intentions and keeps the offense guessing and creates opportunities for sacks and turnovers at all times. Communication is also a key when you're playing defense. Hamilton excels there too. His football IQ and leadership qualities enable him to make pre-snap adjustments to ensure everyone is in the right position. This cohesion is vital for the Ravens' defensive success, especially in Mike McDonald's offense or some version of it. So what does this mean for the Ravens? Simply put, Hamilton's versatility makes the entire defense better. It allows the Ravens to adapt to different offensive schemes and keep offenses off balance. The flexibility is crucial in today's NFL, where offenses are even more dynamic and unpredictable than ever. Ravens fans, let's get excited. With Kyle Hamilton on the field, Baltimore's defense is not just formidable, it's elite. His ability to play multiple roles and make impactful plays elevates the entire unit and gives the Ravens a significant edge in their quest to dominance. Let's take a look at two drives versus the 49ers where Kyle's versatility is on display. So we're going to start with this drive right here versus the 49ers. It's first and 10 on the 11 yard line, minus 11. And you see Kyle lined up in the slot out there you know, I think that's Kittle and, and Debo. And you see him lined up as a basically a nickel corner pressing at the line of scrimmage. You know, covering the flats. They're playing some version of cover three. Kyle's the flat defender. They swing it out to McCaffrey. One-on-one -on -one with McCaffrey. Gets him down. They get about a three-yard gain. Again, versatility, flat, flat defender, playing cover three. Now, again, he's in the flats. I was not the flats. I'm playing a nickel. This time, he's covering Debo. They're in a two-high shell, so, you know, you get some motion across, and nobody goes with Ayuk, so you can kind of tell it's maybe some kind of zone again, but it's not zone. It's a version of man. He has Debo man-to-man. -man. He got Debo Samuels man-to-man. -man. They do a good job. Him and Brandon Stevens do a good job of passing that off and not being on the same level so they can still play man. That's a great job of being on different levels playing man. Right here with um, Brandon going that way, with Kyle going this way. Because if they was on the same level, that'd just be a pick for both of them, which is what the offense wants them to run into each other. So that's a good job of being on separate levels and still playing man. And he's right on Debo when Debo try to run a little whip route. So cover McCaffrey in the flats on first play, cover Debo man to man on um, second play. The first play was actually his own. Second play was man. Now you got him back as a as a half field safety. Pre-snap as a half field safety. Ball snap. Now he rotates to just to be a post safety. He's a solo deep safety by himself. 
Free snap looked like he was a it was a too high safety. Post snap, he's just a solo safety by himself. They look like they in man free, and he's the free. Marcus Williams gets beat, gets beat by Kittle, and off to the races. And his thing is just to try to hold him off and let some help come, which he does. Just got got to get him down and don't let him score at that point. But again, you just see him just lining up in different places, doing different things right here. Top of your screen as a split field safety again. Save went empty. It's definitely staying in the two high safety, uh, split field safety. Look, this time you can tell by the drop. You got the drop, he dropped it right to the top of the numbers. Trying to read Ayuk. Whatever Ayuk gives him, he's going to break on it. Ayuk gives him a double move. They come back with a throw over the middle. This is This is crucial. This is going to be crucial later. How you gives him a little double move. He has to respect it, but they throw it over the middle. That, that's crucial. That's He's putting that in his Rolodex. He's putting in his Rolodex. How you gives him a little pump. He has to respect it, but they come to Kittle over the middle. But then we talked about the football IQ. Put that in the Rolodex. Very next play. Similar defensive look. Split field look, they go the other way. This time, still, you know, with that too high look defensively. Now they give you, they give him two routes on his side, but neither one of those routes threaten him. Um, Juice checks route don't threaten him. Kittle's route don't threaten him. So he's looking at him. Okay, those two routes don't threaten me. I see the quarterback throwing though. So he peeks, and you see Debo coming across the middle. So with with with. This route not threatening him. That route not threatening him. I don't have to defend none of this grass over here. So I'm going to just get my eyes and see what's going. Jump the middle. With none of these two routes threatening him, I, ain't, I he didn't have to move. If I'm not mistaken, he just kind of stood in the same spot. Kyle moved maybe two yards to the left, a yard back, and immediately just broke on Debo's route. That's the football IQ we mentioned. Like, neither one of those routes threatened him, so there was no need for me to keep going back. End of that drive. Let's go to another drive. Let's keep talking about his versatility. Now, let's look at him right here. He's sitting at linebacker depth. This looks like a 4-3 from the Baltimore Ravens defense. And you got Kyle sitting at linebacker depth with uh, Roquan and Pat Queen. We talked about the communication. He's communicating something by patting his hip right here. Not sure what it is. Don't know the signals. But somebody know what that means. That pattern of that hip means something to somebody. Got to be able to communicate and let, let people know what's going on. Now, he does nothing in the play, but we're just talking about the versatility of it. Versatility, <laughs> communication, playmaking ability, all that. All right. The next play, which is second down. Uh, he's, they've widened use check out. Now, I'll take this matchup all day, every day. Use check on Hamilton. Because remember, a couple of plays ago, Hamilton was guarding Debo 1v1. One, one one. So I'll definitely take use check versus Hamilton. <laughs> I'll take that all day, every day. But again, they, they drop in the zone. He, he goes with depth. Make them throw the short route. Now I got to come up and make the tackle. Uh, he initially misses the tackle, which that's not good, but, you know, got to give props to Debo. Debo made people miss. What I like about it is he don't lay down sulk. He gets up off the ground and goes and gets the tackle, which is that's going to be key on the very next play. He made a mistake. He got back up, got back into play, made the tackle. Now this next one, he don't necessarily make a mistake, but he just he gets on the ground and he gets back up. Now, we talked about him being a good blitzer. Look where he blitzes from. He's kind of half playing Debo, but kind of half in the box also. And he's going to blitz from that position right there. He's a great blitzer from there because you don't know if he's coming or not. He creeps up at the last minute, gets a, 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 a easy hole to go through, but they're going to double, they're going to high low him, which is illegal. I think McCaffrey's going to go low and the tackle's going to go high. See, right there, that's illegal. You can't do that to a player. You're going to see two flags come. And he could just lay there because, you know, it's a penalty. 
That's one flag. There's the other. Now you see Hamilton right now. He's he could just lay down because whatever San Francisco gets, it ain't gonna matter because it's penalty on me. He could just lay down, but he don't. He gonna get up. See what's going on in the play. They tried to make something happen. Didn't. Marlo gets a batted ball. He gets the second interception. Again, the dude's all over the place, man. Blitzing, covering, communicating, high football IQ. He can do anything on the football field that you want him to do. He's just a good defensive player, and I'm so glad he play, he wears the purple and black. Kyle Hamilton, the Baltimore Ravens, Swiss Army Knife, man. I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me while we talk defense about Kyle Hamilton. And I look forward to him being in the conversation again for Defensive Player of the Year. So if you have not liked the video, please do so. Comments, drop your comments about Kyle Hamilton, whether you think he should have been higher in the voting or should not have been. And um, share this video, man. Appreciate y'all. If you're not subscribed, do that too. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace and love.